This is question three from paper two of the 2015 National 5 SQA Maths exam. We're given a triangle ABC, a couple of sides and the angle in between these two sides, and we're asked to calculate the length of the third side. If we know two of the sides and we know the angle in between, then we're going to be using the cosine rule. In your formula sheet, this is what's given to you as the cosine rule. Little a, b's and c's and capital a's and so on. These refer to the angles in the sides. In triangle a, b, c, the side opposite angle a is known as little a. And the side opposite angle b is known as little b. And the side opposite angle c is known as little c. So we're asked to find angle uh, side C. This is the form that we'd be using because this is the form of the cosine rule that involves finding, an, uh, finding a side. This one involves finding an angle. So we're going to be using this form a squared equals b squared plus c squared. It's very much like the Pythagoras' theorem, but there's a little adjustment. We have to subtract twice the product of these two sides times the cosine of the angle between them. Now, a is not the side that we're after. We're after a side c. So we have to create the version of the formula that we'll need to use. This form that's given to a squared, the other two sides are both squared. So the other two sides in this form of it would be a and b. So we square both of these, then subtract twice the product of these two sides, multiplying them together, times the cosine of angle a is the angle opposite side a. So angle c would be this angle opposite side C. So this follows the pattern that was established in the formula that's given to you in the formula sheet. So this is the one that we'll use. We use the cosine rule. And let's just write it down in the form we're going to use it in. Now everything on the right hand side we know. We know little a, we know little b, and we know angle c. So we can plug in values. Little a is 1.3, so there's 1.35 squared, plus little b is 1.2, 1.2 squared, minus twice. a times b, 1.35, times 1.2, times the cosine of angle C, and angle C is 35 degrees. So this calculation here will give us C squared. So let's get the calculator. And you have to watch out that on your calculator, in this case there's a DEG here, which on a lot of calculators would come, as, come up as a letter D, so that we're working in degrees. You should not have anything other than a D or a DEG on display, otherwise you'll get the wrong answers. Um, R or RAD should not be displayed. Uh, so just check that you've got a D or a DEG when you're uh, working with your trig function sine cos tan. So here we go, 1.35 and we square it. Plus... 1.2 and we square it minus 2 times 1.35 times 1.2 times the cosine of 35 degrees that all comes to 0 0.67 6 Zero 0.8. So let's write that down. 0 0.608. To find out what C is, we need to take the square root of that. So the square root of that answer plus 
approximately 0 0.780. Now, there is no indication of how accurate this answer should be. But since we're given two decimal places in this measurement, it would make sense to do that when giving the answer. So C is approximately equal to 0 0.78 kilometers. And the accuracy is to two decimal places. And look also at your diagram and say, well, is that a reasonable answer? When this is just over one, this is just over one, this should be under one, which is 0 0.3 quarters, fine. Roughly one, roughly one, three quarters. That seems okay for this diagram. If you'd ended up with 78, you would have known that, that there was something wrong in your calculation. So. C is approximately 0 0.78 kilometres to two decimal places.